All right, so I'm going to show you one more technique that's kind of cool that you can use when creating furniture that sometimes you might use, sometimes you might not. Um, it can be extremely fast and a lot of fun as well. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to just start by, um, I guess, using this back edge. So we can select the edge, P, separate selection, right? Go ahead and select it. And we're going to have the edge. Now we can go to edge select, press E and Z and bring it up. You do something like this. Okay, press E and Y. Bring that forward, All right? So if we wanted to create something like a hutch, we can do this. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. This is gonna be the inside edge, okay? So like, we're gonna extrude it out in this direction in a second. Um, and this one here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna extrude it out in the um, opposite direction, maybe, All right? Maybe we got something like this. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna separate this face. I wanna press P, separate selection, okay? And this here, get a hold of it um, we're in material preview go to solid pre and you'll see that the face is the other way so we can still work with it but we got to select it on this side um two loop cuts with control r mouse wheel up we get this setup going like this right and so these edges you can press e and x and bring them out and just for the heck of it i don't want to work with them that way i'm going to alt n flip those normals and we have this setup now we can mirror this Real quick, we'll have to redo the UVs, unfortunately. We can mirror this one as well. And you can see we can bisect these. If you have to flip it, flip it. Okay. And we get this set up here. So now all we're going to do is take these ones and P, separate selection. And what we can do is we can go ahead and... Um, we apply the mirror here, it should complain that it's not the first modifier. It should be fine still, but if it really does bother you, just send it to the top and then apply the mirror. Okay, we're gonna apply the mirror here. And now all of these, we'll do one first. Um, we're gonna solidify it, okay? And a solidify modifier, send it out like that. And we should be able to grab these ones, these ones, shift select that one, control L, copy modifiers. They should all get some depth to them. Okay. So all you have to do is go back and tweak them a little bit, maybe. So this one, we can actually um, see the wireframe here. Edit mode on this side, apparently. If it goes the wrong way, your normal's the wrong way. Alt in, flip. You'll see it goes the other way. You might have to redo the um, thickness here. You just try typing in negative and doing it out like that. Um, what I wanted to do was just get rid of these edges here and turn modifiers off in edit mode usually works out better anyways. So you can tell what's going on. You just click those off perhaps. We don't need these bullions either. We'll get rid of those in a sec. Uh, but these edges are selected. Control X. They're gone so we get a more solid piece. I can just select that edge, move it back. Let it do this number. Just like that. So uh, we just line it up basically. Or we could have vertex snapped it perhaps. EY, hold control with uh, vertex select. There you go. I'll be perfectly aligned now. And um, we could have went a little bit further with that perhaps. Let's just press E, X, hold control, bring it all the way over here. We don't have the mirror on it, so we'll grab that face, P, separate selection. It has a solidify on it. Boom. Now we can just do this. And uh, G, X, hold control. If we want, uh, we could use mesh symmetrize again, doing negative x to positive x um, or if you have the mesh machine add-on you can hit alt x use the gizmo and then do that now they won't be unwrapped correctly that's okay we're just going to cube project these ones so we don't have to do a bunch of unwrapping and marking seams but um you can get in here most of them should be okay-ish but we might have to rotate them around all right. That back section as well. I mean, we could leave it vertical like that. I don't see. Um, but we could also, maybe the grain doesn't work properly like that. But yeah, if we ever need shelves and we want to create like a little hutch or something like that, I mean, that's a possibility that we do solidifies instead and just work with the planes. A lot of times that can work out very well. And um, you can see like this side over here. We can actually delete 
Um, with machine tools add on, we select if select Alt Shift X, boom, we mirror it, done. And uh, we can do a little hutch like that. And it's uh, still basically working the way it should, except um, we need to take these solidifies and move them up before the bevel. Oops, what did I just move? Oh, we'll have the butterfly effect if we're using mirror. No. Bullion's gone. It's not mirror. Those aren't mirroring. That's what I, I was the wrong one. This one's mirroring, and that's okay like that. You could shift the, like, apply the mirror and then shift the UVs if needed. But these don't need that bullion. But anytime you duplicate something and separate it from an object that has modifiers, it keeps those modifiers. Wait, normal's last. See that all worked out, right? Like it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad, anyways. And um, it was just a cool little fun thing we could do real quick. If you've never modeled something that way before, it's just planner faces with solidifies, right? Pretty easy, straightforward stuff. And um, it's a way you could approach some pieces or parts to uh, furniture that is relatively fast in general. Instead of creating like new primitives and boxes and stuff all the time. Working with what you got is like a key to 3D modeling where you're able to like just uh, quickly move basically by reusing parts or pieces of models and uh, something you need to practice, I think. Um, by the looks of it, oh, we do have a drawer in here. Okay. Yeah, so EV's lighting, of course, doesn't always capture. Like, there's light in there still that um, wouldn't realistically probably be in there that much. But that's okay. For now. Looking for errors. We might have missed things in the last video. And by the looks of it, I think we're okay, though. So, just a little part two for you real quick. Something to think about, all right? So, I'll see you in the next one.